Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to the world of the Espers in Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Deep in Terra's subconscious, a memory that she should never have had because it's featuring someone who isn't her. By which I mean, like, seriously, she isn't here at all. Um, but it is presumably the world of the Espers. Oh, that seems out of place. Maduin, eh? Hey, pull yourself together. Wait, is this a... Uh... Well, we should help her, of course. But what could she be? I mean, this place is filled with espers. She's still quite weak. She'll need to rest for a while. Did I wake you? You're... an Esper? What's this pendant around your neck? I'll give it to you. A charm for from the Esper world. The Esper world? So, that's where I ended up? Everyone is at a loss as to how you, a human, could have made it into our world. You're the one who saved me, right? My name is Madeline. I was sick of living in the human world. It's nothing but a vortex of greed and hate. So I wandered out into it the storm, and before I knew it, I was here. They say that humans and espers cannot coexist. So, you don't want me here, right? No, I'm just not sure. I'll return to my own world tomorrow. Woohoo! Editing out sneezes! Okay. Alright. Someone can show you the way back. And bed again! Who are you? Elder. That's helpful. The human already left. I wonder if she'll be alright without a guide. Stuff about a guide. That human girl went to the gate quite a while ago. If the human learns of our powers and decide to try to use them, that would be terrible indeed. Is there anyone else around here? I wonder. Oh, there's someone up there. Kind of hyperactive. This is a pretty big place. Oh, hey, this area. We ought to kill it right away. Humans and espers are incompatible. That human girl went to the gate quite a while ago. Okay, so there's werewolves, there's pixies, there's whatever the hell I am. Um, and there's whatever the hell the elder is. I guess he's just elder. Um, yeah. Ever- no, really? Uh, well, if it has been a whole millennium, that does not seem an unreasonable uh, take on the situation. Oh hey, that's a dragon! What have I done? Clearly I don't. I guess it means saving the human? But that doesn't seem like a bad thing. I mean, she would have died if I hadn't helped, right? You know, let, let's just go to the gate. I'm not sure why she would have needed a guide to go up, but whatever. Oh hey, you look sort of like me. I guess we're similar things? I don't know, espers are weird. What's wrong, Maduin? 
Wait, you're a youth? You're bigger than I am! Whatever. Whatevs. Yeah, she really needed a guide to find this. If you don't want to go back to your world, you're welcome to stay here. By me, anyway. But humans and espers can't be together. How can we know for sure unless we try for ourselves? <gasps> Are we getting a new character? Or maybe not. What is happening? Oh, they're dancing. Also flying, maybe? I don't know. They're definitely dancing. <laughs> That much is clear. Oh, and... And, yeah, that's... Well... That's probably a pretty good way to do something like that in a game like this. I've chosen a name for her. What is it? Terra. It's beautiful, isn't it? You know, I feel like it should be something that starts with an M, but... I like the name Terra, so I'm not going to complain. And thus, Terra was born. Humans! The nexus between our worlds has opened again! This storm is just like the one two years ago. Imperials? Uh-oh. Oh, well, that's bad. That's really bad. You know, you'd think the Aspers would be able to, you know, stop them. Since these are basically... Well, they're soldiers, but they're basically powerless humans. Ha ha! I finally found it! After all that time spent decoding the secrets of those ancient texts, now is time to reap the rewards! Grab them! Riches go to any man who captures an Esper! Go! That, sh that should be more old manny, but, you know, I'm tired. <laughs> Give me a break. Terra's alright. Ah. That particular tone is going to need to take some more practice. You know, if she's two years old, she really shouldn't look like that. She's, she's, she's like toddler age. She should be walking around, maybe talking a bit. But, whatever. We have no choice. We must do what we've been avoiding. I'll create a tempest to sweep all the invaders out of our realm. Then I'll seal the gate. Even among espers, the power to create a magical seal is limited to a single bloodline. I'm the last of that line. I may not survive, and without me, you'll never be able to open the gate again. The other world holds no meaning for me anymore. Then it's decided we have no other choice. Hmm. That's probably true. Seriously? She's been here for two years, dude! Two years! Actually, kind of think of it... Is... Is this two years after Terra was born, or two years after Madeline came to the world of the Espers? That's not really clear. Hmm... Anyway... No, she l l couldn't have! Two years! Two years! 
What an asshole. What an asshole. Oh, she just ran away. Um... That can't be good. I feel it's a real missed opportunity to not get to fight anything as an Esper. But whatever, it's small. Yeah. His love for Madeline, the human, is far greater than his fear of being locked out of the Esper world. No! Just when the ultimate treasure was within my grasp! Ma Madan, I'm not like them. I know. Thank you. Will you come back home with me again? Yes, of course. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, and Terra is somewhere but what? Ah. That just makes me feel like physically ill. That is just awful. So Terra was captured by the Empire somewhere between the ages of zero and two. What? Well, that would explain why, where the memories were coming from, why they weren't from her perspective, because really she shouldn't be able to remember any of that anyway. Even if she was alive at the time, she was a baby. Um, but I guess one of the aspects we picked up was her father. She can control this power if she only uses it in short bursts? Okay. What that means, by the way... Uh, well... Must have been. And Sla's power came at the expense of one of them. The Empire won't get away with this. I'll hit that Emperor with a blitz or two. How are things in Narsh? Maybe. The airship's ready to go. Come on. Oh, by all means, take a turn of the wheel. Let me teach you how to fly. A is lift, B is land. Wait, A is lift and forward? I don't know why I have the option to adjust altitude, to be honest. It's a useless feature. It's always been a useless feature. I cannot think of a th single... F Actually, no, I can't think of one Final Fantasy. Game, and only one where it was a useful feature 
And that's because they gave you like 10 airships in that game, and each one did something different. Anyway. Press start to enter the ship, I can change parties in the ship. Okay. Sure? Um... Okay. Okay. Yeah, I bet it would be, actually. Let's, uh, let's get rid of Setzer. <laughs> He'll be in charge soon enough, but... I want Terra for, for the moment. If I can find her... Anyway... Oh, anyway, the trance thing. Trance thing. The Esper thing. Basically how it works is she has a new ability to use in battle. And every... I think it's every battle she doesn't use it. She gets one more turn where she can use it when she activates it. When she activates it, she blows her whole load. It resets sets the counter to zero whether you use it all or not. Uh, I believe there's an upper limit to how much she can store, but frankly, I have no idea what it is. So, yeah. Let's see, I'm gonna do that. Edgar is gonna be leaving momentarily, and so are some other people. Because I'm gonna be... well, you'll see. But, we do have one errand we need to take care of quickly first. Uh, actually, I can do that next episode, probably. Well, well, I'll, I'll do this. I'll get this out of the way now. We want to head for... Haha! -ha! Yeah, that's hardly any airship lag. I mean, the airship should probably be going a little bit faster, and it does slow noticeably when I go up and down. But... Honestly, the airship at full speed is barely controllable. So, I don't have a problem with it going a little bit slower. Although, I do kind of wish my world map stayed facing up. It would make it a lot easier to get my bearings. Fortunately. <laughs> okay, wow, that's really slow. Um, Narsh is around. Here is Narsh, I think. This is Narsh, right? Yep, I have found Narsh. Okay. Okay. We've been waiting for you. Please, follow me. Oh, you're here! The people of Narsh have finally decided to fight the Empire! How did things go in Vector? I guess, uh... What's his name? Sian told him that's where we were going? I see. Wait, uh, this is someone else. I see. We've been trying to work out a plan to make use of Narsh's resources and Figaro's machinery. But, we just don't have enough troops to storm the Empire. We have to open the sealed gate. That was bad, and that should be in a different voice. Whatever! The gate to the Esper world? We'll never be the Empire without your help. The sealed gate lies to the Empire's east. When we open it, the Aspers can attack there. From there, while we launch an invasion from the north. You know, if they go along with it. Um, I think this is making a pretty big assumption. We must reply re-establish the bond of trust that once existed between humans and espers. The espers must be made to understand 
There is only one among us who can make them! I don't think they're overly fond of her, to be honest. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put an Esper on her. Oh well. I'll do it between episodes. Which is also when I'm gonna change my party. Um, if humans and espers were truly incompatible, I would never have been born. I'll do it. I'm the only one who can. Well, I guess that means we should go deal with the Espers. We should do that. We really should. But... What? I mean... That's an option. Or we can go do side quests. Lots of side quests! Yep! I think we all know what I'm going to be doing. But that'll have to wait until next time. So until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Blue, and have a nice day. Mm -hmm.